everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today i'm going to be giving you my spoiler free review of season two of the umbrella academy <laughs> So the Umbrella Academy finally graced us with its presence with another 10 episodes. If you have not yet checked out the Umbrella Academy, I highly recommend that you do because I'm going to go ahead and tell you off the bat right now that season 2 I think was even better than season 1. So in season 2, 5 traveled the whole game back to the 60s in Dallas, Texas. Um, we are scattered within like about a three year period. The characters meeting up in 1963 with a lot of them already uh, making a life for themselves within the years. So I was actually going to be filming this intro in Dealey Plaza because I am from Dallas and I thought it would be fun to do that there. Something something different, right? Um, I, mean, I was just too lazy, you guys. I really probably shouldn't even have been telling you this, but I'm going to tell you because just who I am that that's something I was playing. Maybe I'll put up like a video or something here and we can just imagine me being there. They actually have like X's on the uh, road where he was actually shot. The building where Lee Harvey was actually in is now a, a museum. It's actually it's pretty cool. I mean, I've only been once and I'm okay with the one time. If you ever come to Dallas or if you are from Dallas, you never been, I do recommend for you to uh, check it out. I think it's a, a good thing to see at least once. But let's go ahead and get on with this review. Like I said, season two to me was way, way better. Uh, we are again in the 60s. We are around the time that um, John F. Kennedy was shot. We are within the Kennedy talk. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about Diego first. We do have him having a bit of an obsession with Kennedy assassination uh him trying to warn uh the fbi that you know there is an assassination attempt that uh lee harvey oswald is gonna be the one that's gonna kill him of course nobody believes him he ends up like in a mental institution oh i don't think that was a spoiler Ugh, i'm sorry it's like irrelevant really because in season one we did only focus maybe like on three of the characters more so and over here like each of them had like their own little time to shine five was just as much of an a uh, prick and an asshole that's just who he is um i think he was a little bit less of an asshole this time around but maybe we're just used to him now being who he is and aiden gallagher is freaking amazing he's who plays five i mean he literally has me believing since season one that he is is this older man i can't remember how old uh, technically he is who you know had his life you know had all this experience all these years traveled back and unfortunately got stuck in this like juvenile body the two really just picks right back up from when season one ended you know them going through uh the time portal obviously this time around is them you know where they landed in the time portal which actually with the landing deal it's really funny because they all landed on their backs except for diego who's the only one that landed on his feet he kind of did like a whole terminator landing we go ahead and go into um allison which i thought it was really um clever of them to incorporate the civil rights movement because that was during uh, the 60s when that was happening we also get to see a little bit more of Ben this time around I'm just gonna say I cannot wait for season three oh my god you guys the soundtrack here was just amazing I I loved every bit of music that they use um in this season it went I feel perfectly with it I did get a new character Lila I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce the actress's name because I'm totally gonna botch it a great addition to the cast for the season she did absolutely amazing such a uh, badass again spoiler free review but something that she does was one of the jaw dropping moments we also do see more of Reginald Hargreaves this season one moment literally I was not expecting that. If you have seen season two, give this video a like because you know what I'm talking about. Comment something below. Put a spoiler alert, you know, space. What did you guys think about that? Because that was like, it took me a minute to really process that, but it was awesome. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I know I didn't touch base on all the other characters. Like I said earlier, um, I don't feel like this season was really singled out with one individual character. I feel like everybody got like a really nice storyline. Totally loved it. I love season two. I think that this is one of the best series that is currently on Netflix. If you have not seen The Umbrella Academy, highly recommend it. But if you've seen The Umbrella Academy season two, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Is this series just not for you? Uh, which season do you prefer? 
let me know down below of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye